We grow about um, for 1,200 hectares a year, so 3,000 acres, and it comprises of generally 50% of wheat, and then the other percentage is broken up into barley, canola, and broad beans. Everything's planted in the autumn. Wheat always goes in the ground first for us, all the long season variety, and then um, broad beans, canola, and then followed up by barley at the end. During the winter, you'll be tillering, so your leaves will start tillering out. That's an important stage, get the plant up and away, plenty of leaves on it and then the, once the heads emerge it'll start to flower and then uh, hopefully you get a late spring rain for grain fill and all goes well. Generally your canola will always mature first at harvest time even though you plant the wheat first. So wheat's the longest growing so we plant the wheat first and it's the last to be harvested, it's always after Christmas. Probably in our wheat, we're sort of averaging around that seven ton to the hectare, so we get up around two to two and a half thousand ton of wheat. Wheat's very good for us down here in the high rainfall zone, good yielding, good return. We're locked in with a couple of good dairies, so all our wheat goes there to be crushed for, for their feed source. For the uh, hard wheats or the milling wheats, they're obviously um, sent to the mills and uh, crushed up for flour there. It all goes breads, cakes, pastas, muesli bars, all your cereals, and then the guys that are producing oats, that goes to Blue Lake Milling to be rolled there. We are Blue Lake Milling, we are an oat miller, and we are based in the Limestone Coast in Bordertown in South Australia. The difference between an oat and wheat is that all cereal grains will grow in a paddock, broadacre cropping in Australia, and they will all have an outer husk on the outside of the grain to protect the grain from the environment while it grows in the paddock. The difference between wheat and oats is that when the wheat is harvested, the husk is removed by the header at the time of harvesting. With the oats, the husk stays on the grain and that oat then comes to us and through our facility, we then remove the husk from the oat. Oat milling is a very specialised process. We utilise the latest technology out of Europe to remove the outer husk and then we grade the oats into various qualities dependent on the finished product that we're trying to make with those oats. Everything we do with conventional, we replicate with the organic. The difference with organic is they are grown on farms that only use organic farming practices. We then, once the grain is received in here, we segregate the grain through the entire process. So the oats arrive in a bulk truck directly from either the header or from storage on the farm and they arrive here and the first thing we do is we test the grain while it's in the truck to make sure that it's a, an acceptable quality. We then take the oats and store them for a short period of time before we process them. The first step of the processing is that we remove that outer husk from the grain. The grain can then be rolled into a flake. That process happens by passing through big or large heavy steel rollers to take the grain from a kernel into a nice flat flake. From that point then we then package those oats and distribute to the supermarkets or to other customers who will make their own products. So the reason why oats are in such high demand is because of the nutritional benefits of the product. There's no added sugar, salt or preservatives. It's a 100% natural product with little processing done. It's also high in fibre, particularly a, a, a fibre called beta-glucan, which is known to help to lower cholesterol levels. Our oats are also renowned for being grown in bright, white, clean and green environments. So that flows through to the end product that we supply. This is a one tonne bulk bag of product. So we package in this size, right through down to a 35 gram sachet. We produce 60,000 tonnes of uh, finished product per annum and that goes out into a, a mix of markets, both domestically and globally. So it's amazing to think that oats grown on farms in Victoria, South Australia and New South Wales are ending up on breakfast tables around the world in countries such as China, New Zealand, Japan and India.